Dude, look at those hammers. Oh, man. It's got hammers, tentacles, and little bitty swords. We got a clash here. And oh, man, that is so cool. Oh, this looks epic. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are checking out the new update, because check out this beast of a unit. So this is called the Lava Golem, and it is fantastic looking. So I figured to start out this episode, I do want to do several things with this, including upgrade one, make one giant, and even do some survival with uh, me on the ground against them. But I want to do a vanilla test. I want to see how strong this thing is. So we have Spartans. We got 11 of them on this side. And let's go ahead and just start this fight and see what the attacks are for this. And oh, oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, that's actually really cool. So it rolls up in a ball and just rolls over everything. Also, it has a punch attack. I think it just punched the camera. It moved my camera. And wait, what? Uh... So it catches everything on fire. You've got to be kidding me. This might be one of the coolest units in the game. Okay, so I think we need to make it pick on something a little more its size. So let's go with maybe the mutant primates. I don't think it can take on a Goro, but I think maybe... Let's try this one. Uh, maybe you can take this on. Also, there's some other new items in the update, including some new animal weapons that we're going to be checking out including the sword hand, the hammer hand, and the spear hand. So maybe we'll put it on the new unit here. All right, here we go, and boom. And let's see what kind of fight we got. Oh, we just hit him with the hammer. Oh, he's repeatedly hitting him with the hammer. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, so he's not an OP unit. So I'm kind of glad they're doing that with the game. Also, it exploding is really cool looking. All right, so that unit cost 140. The golem cost 130. So let's see something that's maybe comparable to it. All right, so I have a team two that equals out to 116. Let's spend a little bit more money. We need to get it to 130. So that's 130 there, and this is 130 on this side. So here's the question. Can the lava golem actually take these out? Here we go. Come on, buddy. And oh man, that attack is so cool looking. Uh, it's a little bit of a flimsy looking unit though. Like it kind of, whoa. Yeah, it uh, kind of falls down and does some weird stuff, but once it grabs onto something, it lights everything on fire. That has got to be the coolest attack I've ever seen in the game. So, is it going to be able to take down this other army worth 130? Uh, it might be having some issues. Hold on, light him back up. Oh, what if it was biting his butt? It's kind of inappropriate. Also, if you guys are excited for some more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And also hit the thumbs up button for the uh, the breakdancing uh, golem. All right, looks like he's going to take down the last unit. Oh, yes. All right, so that's really cool. So before we upgrade it and before we make it into a really big battle, one thing I want to do, I always like to test this. I like to scale up the creature to see if it's flimsy or not. So let's go ahead and we'll scale this up. Hmm. Oh, see, now they've got a new warning. It says animal scaling is not recommended because a lot of times this will actually kind of disable their attacks and make them all flimsy and wobbly. So let's see if a two times golem, what it does here. Come on. Do you still have your attacks? Can you grab and light stuff on fire? Uh, I'm kind of hoping it still has that. It doesn't seem to want to do its little barrel roll anymore. Uh, still got its punching attack, but can it still grab and light stuff on fire? Come on, buddy. Come on, you got this. Nope. I feel like it actually lost that attack, so this is definitely a unit you want to keep in its normal scale. But if we upgrade this, we could probably make this truly unbeatable. Question is, can we make it so unbeatable it can go against like a Hydra or something? Yeah, that thing does not do good in an upscale at all. That was horrible. All right, so we need to get some more of the opponents here. So let's go ahead and scale this back down to one here. Uh, look at the size difference, by the way. Yeah, it being in two times size is not good at all. You could give it all the hit power you want, but it's not gonna make up for the whole fact that its attacks don't really work. So question is, can we upgrade this while keeping the attacks? 
because I want to still have it rolling and that's uh, something that might need some movement. So I got to watch what I block here. All right, so as far as the new weapons here, so you have new arms and it looks like they actually made a left and a right. It used to be just one arm. I don't know if it was a left arm or a right arm, but it looked really awkward on the uh, characters, but it looks like they finally matched them up. But check this out. We have hammer hands. Oh, these actually look like they match a bit. Hold on, let's see what this looks like. Uh, oh, that is cool. So you have that hammer hand, and then we can switch around and we can get the uh, the other side real quick. So let's go something like something like that. I feel like those might be too big, but man, that match is pretty good. I mean, it's not the exact texture, but you know what? I'll let it I'll let it happen. This is cool. So I think putting this and then maybe adding a couple tentacles to the back. Let's scale these down a little bit. Uh, maybe add them to its shoulders here. I feel like this would be a good upgrade for this thing. Now, as far as armor, does this thing actually need armor? I mean, technically its body's kind of like armor. It also looks like a really dry poop with red in it, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, I feel like we should give it some sword hands too. So we'll give it sword hands to its arms. Uh, we'll make these a little smaller though. There we go. So scale those down to 0.4 and then we'll get another one on the other side here. Also, they added animal decor. Looks like we have feathers right now. Uh, what do these look like? Are they big? Uh, oh, I gotta pick a color. I mean, of course, gotta do red here. Oh, so you can add feathers. I mean, the only place I can think of putting feathers is like on its head. Uh, you could put some... We can have just one lone feather just sticking up. That looks kind of cool, actually. Hold on, let's go boom. And then we'll turn one this way, and then we'll turn one the other way. That actually looks kind of cool. So this is going to be like a, a level 100 golem. And then we'll maybe put like a vanilla one beside it and see what the differences are. This looks cool, though. I like this a lot. Um, let's go ahead and layer this, though. Let's add a couple layers. No, 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 not that one. I want a different style feather here. So let's go with maybe this. There we go. We're going to make a full-blown, like, headdress here. You know, we could cover this whole thing in feathers. I just think that looks cool. Like, what other animal decor pieces would you guys like to see? Okay, so what do we think the odds of giving this thing just a little bit of armor? Almost like, uh, we'll call these the peck plates here. Can we do that? Actually, this is going to look like nipples. Let's go ahead and make those a little bit bigger. All right, so if we go, like, one here and one here, that looks a little odd, but, I mean... It's a little bit of armor. I don't want to add much to it because I feel like once it rolls up, like you want it to be able to go in the ball form. If you have a bunch of armor here, I feel like it might uh, make its animation a little bit weird and maybe it wouldn't work. All right, what looks appropriate to fight these? Let's make another Inferno fight it. I haven't really used these uh, skeleton warriors much at all. So we'll do a small little fight here. Uh, oh, these are kind of powerful. So that's technically cost more than one of these. But we have the upgrades here, so let's see what happens here. Boom. Do you still have your attacks? And oh, look at that. Oh, it still has its attacks. All right, that's perfect. Dude, look at those hammers. Oh, man. It's got hammers, tentacles, and little bitty swords. And oh, it's lighting stuff on fire. This has got to be my new favorite unit. Like, the Hydra is still, like, awesome. And then, of course, I love the dinosaur units, but... I mean, there's something really unique about this thing, and oh, it completely destroyed that army. I feel like if you get a big army of these, they're going to be pretty much unbeatable. Okay, so real quick, we're going to do a big epic fight. I'm actually really satisfied with this thing. I don't think I'm going to add any more armor to it. Like, I kind of wanted to add something to maybe its back, because I feel like that's a spot where it wouldn't affect the, uh, the animation too much, but... For now, I'm going to leave it alone. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a team of, let's do 10 of these. And then I want to do, later in the video, we're going to do a big castle siege. But I want to do like a Clash of the Titans here. So this army, it cost a total of 2,900. So we need to equal that. And I think as far as a, another army, I would like to do the mutant primates. So we've got Goro the Giant here. We've got to use, let's go with maybe three of those actually it switched to team two here so let's go three of those and then these uh the gore hammer ones uh these are really really cool and then let's do a line of these so we need it to be basically equal and let's do some uh poo flinging gorillas because those are gross 
Okay, so this is about equal as far as the money. Now we have a bit of a problem here. Look at the numbers game. I think the mutant primates are going to win just solely because of the numbers, but I could be wrong. Who do you think is going to win? Also, by the way, comment down below uh, with future fights or maybe future upgrades uh, with the new unit here. I can't get over how good that thing looks. That unit is amazing. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Who's going to win? I mean, look at the movement, how it's slamming the hammers into the ground. Oh, that's incredible looking. All right. Here we go. We got a clash here. And oh, oh man, that's so cool. I don't think we're going to win here. Wait, look at all the fire. Oh, and there's a potential. We have a bit of a chance. Oh, never mind. We do not have a chance. They're blowing up everywhere. Holy man. Okay, so that definitely came down to a numbers game. It wasn't a money game. It was a numbers game. You have too many things hitting these uh, at once. Oh, dear. Well, what kind of damage do they do? I still wish we had a detailed stat screen. Like right here, I wish you would tell me how many units we lost instead of me trying to count all these. You know what? They did quite a bit of damage. Uh, all the Goros are still up, though. So what if we add it? Okay, I want to make this even real quick before we move on to the castle siege. Let's go ahead and try to even out the fight a little bit. So we'll add, should we add a couple of just default ones? Maybe that would be a little more fair. So let's go one, two, three. Let's add four more here. Let's see if this gets the job done for team one. Here we go. Boom. All right, we got another fight going. Let's see what we have here. Oh, man. That's cool looking, and here comes the spin attacks. It's really when they start lighting stuff on fire. Like, I'm pretty sure that attack's affecting uh, quite a few of the other uh, units around, but... Oh, no, it looks like they're getting actually beat worse. Wait, never mind. We got several of them coming this way, and... Oh, those attacks. Yeah, the only problem is they're not taking down the Goros, which I know the Goro is, like, one of the strongest units in the game. But you would figure with the numbers, they'd be able to do some damage here. But the attack on those, how it grabs them and just starts beating the snot out of them. Like, there's no chance here. Oh, I hear poop sounds. Yep. Nope. I don't think we can make this army big enough, folks. I mean, there's always a way to make it big enough. We just add more. I'm going to have to add more mine, though. Okay, so if 22 of these can't get the job done, I don't know what can. So here we go. It's uh, kind of weird we're not getting lag right now. I mean, there's a lot going on here, and oh, boy. All right, so we have even more of an epic fight going here. So can they finally take down the primate army? I don't know. This is going to be probably a little bit closer, but oh, look at that. Oh, look. And it finally happens. They take down a Goro. They take down two of them. Yep, so it, it was a numbers game. Uh-oh. You know, you got the last one fighting here. It's doing a good job, but oh man, you can see all the fire coming up. Oh, that's cool looking. All right, well, yep, it just took a lot of them. It's fine. So, do you think the humans can defeat these things? I'm going to give myself maybe 10, and then we're going to create a castle, and we're going to use uh, some of the new pieces, and we're going to see if we can have uh, maybe the ultimate siege here. All right, so for the siege, we are going to have mostly humans, but I want to use the new ballista. So I think I've got to attach this to some sort of animal. So they are going to have a little bit of animal backup here, but we need a lot of humans because those things are strong and we're going to have to go against 10 of them. So I'm thinking I want to do modern humans. Actually, you know what? We got to keep with the theme of it being a castle siege. We got to somehow do this with the ancient humans. This is going to be hard. So I think we want to primarily uh, make the archers be the defenders of the castle. So we're going to have a butt ton of them. Also, can I add the animal armor or actually the animal weapons onto the castle? Is that a thing? Will this work? I feel like since it is assigned to a team, it... No, never mind. It does have to be attached. Can I attach it to this guy's head? Uh, oh, that, that was a mistake. Okay, we don't attach that to people's heads. We might have to make like an elephant unit or something. That would probably make sense to a uh, an ancient army. So yeah, let's keep adding uh, all the archers here. Like it's gonna have to be a massive number. I'm thinking the humans got at least have like 200 units in order to even come close to being able to defeat those uh those new units. 
Okay, so that's your castle defense. I want to have a cavalry on one side, so we'll line them up over here. That's going to have to be quite a few of them, so let's go boom. And then we'll do like a second line over here. And then, you know what? We're going to do a third line. There we go. Look at that. Uh, that's beautiful looking. So we have that. We need our main army here, which I think I'm going to use the Spartan Warriors. It's definitely my favorite human unit. Okay, so we have those. We'll go ahead and use a small knight uh, section over here. And then we'll do an archer section over here and an archer section over here. So maybe this will draw them a little bit apart. Uh, at least that's the hope. And then make it to where they're not so focused on the castle itself. Maybe they'll fight the armies on the outside for a bit. All right, now as far as the ballista, I think what we're going to do here, let's get the uh, the modern mammals. And of course you have the rocket elephant, but that's got rockets on it. So we're going to have to use something a little bit more traditional. So I'm hoping we can mount them to these. So we'll have maybe six elephants here. By the way, we already lost an archer unit because he fell off the top of the castle. Uh, rip Mr. Archer Man. Okay, so can I mount this on here and it be okay? I think I can. Look at that. I don't think these have to be manned. Uh, of course, you could add those platforms to the top of the animals and maybe put people on it, but I think we're good here. So let's do one here, here, and here. All right, so we have a team of 201. It's got a budget of 2,800. So if I stick 10 of mine in there, what is their budget? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So it's 2,900. So we got to give the humans even more numbers here. So I guess we're going to go with maybe more of the Spartans and then maybe another set of uh, archers. All right, here we go. So they have even more numbers here. So it's uh, actually going over the uh, the golem army by about 300. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ultimate castle siege time. And oh, yeah. Look at that. All my archers just fell off the walls. What are you guys doing? Okay, that's not good. You know, it's fine. Let's see if the armies can defeat them. And oh, this looks epic. Also, look at the, uh, the elephants there. Things are working. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, there's explosions. Wait, I think this is working potentially. I don't know. All right, let's go full speed here. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. This one's taking on the cavalry over here. Oh, look at the amount of arrows in its back. And oh, I'm watching body parts fly through the air now. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, that worked. That actually worked quite well. That worked with all of our archers falling off the walls. By the way, I think I need to delete that. There we go. Huh, that was awkward. So we did it. Uh, we did it actually quite well. So I think we got to add a couple more. I mean, we got to make the fight even more epic, right? All right, so we have 17 now. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. All right. So this is the final fight. Who do you guys think is going to win here? Uh, I feel like it's going to be a little more even. That cavalry, though, them charging in, man, they push it right back. That looks so cool. I mean, it's laggy, but, you know, this is Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, and I always spawn in way too many units. But it's fine. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a person flying through the air right now. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, it's actually a Spartan. And, uh, ouch. So, this looks like it might be a little bit more even, but you know what? That elephant unit, though. That elephant unit is really strong, especially in a group. Man. Yeah, my uh, my new army doesn't even have a chance here. So, I actually didn't see this coming. I, I really thought the humans were going to lose big time here, but I guess I gave them the right numbers here. Oh, look at that. They're trying to... Uh oh. Ooh. You know, it's actually kind of cool that the new unit has a little, uh, like, attack afterward. Because I'm pretty sure that explosion at the end does something. But look at this. It's mostly archers left. So the ranged unit and then you have the ranged elephant worked out really well. They only lost, what, one elephant, I think? Yeah, there's only one down over here. So that worked out pretty well. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys have any suggestions with the new unit, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.